All right, guys. Today we're in a 2008 Audi A4 um, with RNSC. So this unit pretty much works the same with all 04 and up. So 04, 05, 06, 08, and 09 convertibles. It'll also work with all up to 2012 in the U.S. Uh, RNSC. As long as you don't have a media button down here, it'll work. Um, 2013s and I think some European 2012s have a media button, a completely different interface. Um, but no matter what Audi you have, R8, A4, A3. Um, what else we got? Anyway, I uh, checked the website for applications, but this is the Dengen GBL1, uh, GBL3 AI2. So the unit comes with a uh, microphone. If you if you don't have factory microphone, factory Bluetooth, right? And it also comes the iPod cable sold separately. And in this car, we threw in a USB extension cable. We did this just for the demo. Um, the unit's actually long enough to mount in the glove box, but we hate doing that, so that's why we did it this way. Now, if you look at my phone. I'm actually um, going to go in my Bluetooth settings. All right. Um, you can see that I'm paired to both the Gateway Light and the Audi factory Bluetooth adapter. You see one's for media audio and one's for phone audio. Okay, so that is possible because that's the main question I get on this unit. Now, when you go back to my music player, you're going to see that track up controls right from the radio, radio and also the steering controls all right if you look completely wirelessly all right pretty good sounds and of course direct connection is always better but what's the big difference between direct connection and Bluetooth when you're in a moving car with a lot of ambient noise you know that's all up to opinion um, also let me show you just like regular the factory unit will work all right so you look, everything dials, everything. Jesus. All right, look, apparently I'm connected to. No, I guess I didn't give it time. All right, there it goes, yeah. All right, so it paused the unit. So if you want, you can go into telephone. All the information is right there. Hey, we're just checking the Bluetooth. Yep, I do fine. Thank you. Welcome. All right, so I thought I had to switch right away, but I guess it doesn't. Are right, you in the call? I don't know how you do it. Music came right back. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause this. I'm going to show you the way the uh, USB works. All right. Oh, actually, did I bring the USB stick out? Yes, I did. I know I did. All right. Let's skip that part. Let's jump right to the iPod. All right. So I'm going to show you the uh, way the iPod adapter works. Unit comes with a 30-pin connector. I mean, when you buy the iPod cable sold separately, it comes with a 30-pin connector. Currently, you need the Apple to, th to Lightning connector to make the iPhone 5 work. But there's a chance that by the time you get this, there will be a, uh, a separate Lightning cable available. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to plug this baby in. All right. All right, so it's going to play just like that. Same thing, you're going to get track up. Track down, it also charges. All right, you can get it from the steering wheel control too. Cool thing about this unit, let me lower the volume a little bit. It might not be useful with a lot of you, but if you go to CD1, all right, when you do track up, it'll actually go through your playlist. So if you see that, that'll be, uh, no, it went, sorry. I had to go to CD1. All right. All right, so now it'll go to 9 of 42. 10 of 42. I don't know why I just jumped to CD5. Oh, 
I'm in the wrong unit. That's why it's not working. All right. <laughs> the way this unit works, the steering wheel controls, if you hold them down, it'll go up one. Sorry, I was trying to control like another one. All right, if you hold it down, it'll go up through your playlist. Okay, so you see that's one more. That's one of eight, one of eight, one of uh, eight. Next one's, gonna, no, next one's gonna be one of six. And then you go back to the final outlaw playlist. All right, and then once you get there, uh, you can just scroll down, it'll go through with them. Sorry, I get this unit confused with another unit. I apologize, that's my fault. All right, so the way to do it from here is when you hold this down, it'll go up through a playlist. See, I just went up, now I'm gonna hold it down, it's gonna go back through a playlist. All right, and once you get to the playlist, you can go like that. My apologies, I was confusing, confusing this with a simpler unit, all right? Now also, when you turn off the car, it'll pause and shut off the unit. Oh, actually, I just muted it, I didn't even turn it off. But look, I muted it and it paused, but I'm gonna shut off the car, you'll see it's gonna pause. And you turn back on the car, it'll unpause, okay? Everything reconnected to the phone and stuff. All right, so it unpaused, and that's pretty much it. Um, you know, track up. Also, always full control from here, and as always, let me lower the volume. You can go onto your Pandora and all your music, all your music apps. Hopefully, it's not paused. You can do track up. We'll go to the next song, and always full control from here. All right. Uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, you know what? Let me show you the USB function. I left the stick inside. Let me go. All right, I'm back. Apologize for that. Um, just in a rush, crazy things going on here. I got three customers waiting. All right, USB stick, you just plug it in. It's really easy. You see it's blinking. In about a second or two, it'll take over. All right, track up. See it blinking? It, it just does track up, so it, I'm not sure the folder order, but you put it on a stick, it'll just go through there. Like I said, USB sticks sold separately. All right, video is brought to you by nfitcarstereo.com. Oh, steering control too. <laughs> nfitcarstereo.com, we sell and install. We also ship worldwide. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Thank you so much for watching.